Welcome back to the Midterm Rental Mastery Show. My name is Tanisha Epps, and I am a real estate investor based out of Richmond, Virginia. And this is my show all about midterm rentals, real estate investing, talking to my friends, giving you guys a lot of information about the things either that got me started or what I'm working on today. And today I wanted to talk about the power of artificial intelligence in your real estate business. So last night I was working with my small business administration coach and we were talking about my business plan. And what I realized was my business plan is kind of not that great. And so he suggested I revise it because I am actually working on um, trying to do some planning for contracts um, coming up later in the year. And in order to do that, I need to have my business plan like really, really well defined. So I sat up last night and I said, man, I could sit here and rewrite the entire business plan and try to figure out um, every little nuance or I can use the power of AI and have it help me. So last night, chat GPT and I had a date night and I wrote half of my business plan with chat GPT in a fraction of the time it would have taken me to write this entire thing by myself. And so I thought about why not just share, not necessarily my business plan, but some different ways that you can use artificial intelligence as you're building your midterm rental business. And so, of course, the first thing that I always think about is people's acquisition of properties. Now, you can buy properties if you already own them. You can, of course, rent them from other people or you can co-host and have properties that are owned by other people that you are managing. There's so many different ways to get started. But I was kind of playing around with ChatGPT because my friend and I, you know, were on here a couple of weeks ago talking about rental arbitrage. And although I don't do arbitrage a ton anymore, um, I'm thinking about bringing it back with a varied kind of business model uh, just to create some additional cash flow. And so I was working on some things with uh, ChatGPT and arbitrage, and I wanted to share those with you. And hopefully this will be something that will help you as you're getting your business started, just to get some ideas and maybe a little over the hurdle of having conversations with landlords, etc. So as you can see, I've got JetGBT open already. And I've got a couple of different prompts that I wanna test. And again, this is gonna be about um, rental arbitrage. And so the first thing that I want to type into ChatGPT is really a question before I start giving it statements because you can build upon the items that you're working on within ChatGPT to continue a series of information about one topic. So the first thing I'm gonna type into ChatGPT, if I can type here on my computer, is what you should know about rental, and I can't spell. This is what happens when you're working on two screens. Rental arbitrage. And then I'm just gonna hit enter. Now it's gonna tell me what I should know about rental arbitrage. It tells me what it is, and then it's writing an entire outline for me about rental arbitrage. So we'll let ChatGPT do a little bit of its work. And this probably won't be super, super long. It'll be like just key talk, talking points and then an overall like summary. Okay, so it's done. So we've got rental arbitrage refers to the practice of renting a property and then subletting it at a higher price to generate a profit. Is that not what it is? In the scenario, the renter becomes the landlord and earns a profit by renting the property out to others. It gives you what the idea is, a profitable strategy it is, and then an overall view um, of what rental arbitrage is. Now think about this. If you need to go to a landlord to present to them what it is that you're doing, don't you think this would be extremely helpful for you to go to that landlord and give them an idea of how to explain rental arbitrage to them and what it is that you're actually doing? Well, you see how long that took, which was really not a whole lot of time. If you spend all your time trying to write your own scripts and et cetera, it's going to spend more time than it's actually worth. Let's go to another prompt. So we're going to go to how to negotiate your rental arbitrage lease. And let's see what it gives us. So off the bat, you already see it's giving you talking points. 
So this is the information before you ever even um, sign a lease, etc. This is what you can do. It's telling you do research, be prepared. You're going to start low. You do not have to offer the landlord what they have the property listed for. Highlight what your strengths are as a business and of course be flexible. So again, look at how fast that printed out everything you need to know about negotiating a lease for rental arbitrage. I mean, if I had to write this by hand and I like handwriting, I would still be on probably like, let's go way back up here. I don't know, maybe I'd be here if I was lucky. And I don't know that I would have written this as eloquently and I'm a pretty good writer. Okay, so now we've got what is rental arbitrage, negotiating an arbitrage lease. So let's do, um, make a list of the negotiation tactics for rental arbitrage. Now we're telling it to do an action. We're telling it to make a list. Now it's going to pull some of the same information that we had in the last prompt. And it's now going to take those things and add them into a list of things that are going to be our talking points for our negotiation with that landlord. So again, you've got lease terms, you've got being prepared to walk away. That's a good one. Don't think that you have to take these because you don't have to take every one just because it's on the table. As the prompt says at the bottom, negotiation is a two-way street. So look at this. Hopefully you can see it on the screen or you can pause it later if you want to look at these prompts. You don't have to be super specific when you're entering these into ChatGPT. You just need to have an idea of what you're looking for and then give it a task to do, whether it's a question or make a list or even make a table, which you could do as well. So I want to do one more, which is to write a template or script that serves as a role play to talk to a landlord for the opportunity to rent their property for arbitrage. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Chat GPT is going to write out a script for you for a role play. Now, a lot of people would be like, I don't know what to say to the landlord. I don't know what they might say back to me. Here is a very good place to start. Now, is this the end all be all? No, it is not. However, think about what this just did. It gave you the intro. I'm interested in leasing your property and here's the address. Now, if it's me, I'm gonna throw in first, is it still available? But you could do this via email. You could do this via phone call. I personally like to just pick up the phone. But again, everybody is different and to each their own what they would choose to do. But think about this. You've got a script here for a landlord. Now, let's say turn this into a role play script as if it were a phone call. Let's see what it does there. I totally just made that up right now. The same script formatted as a role play for a phone call. Landlord, hello. Look, this even goes ring, ring. If you want to do practice with somebody, give them the script. Let them be the landlord. You be the person that's pitching the arbitrage. And now you have things to practice. Do you see how powerful this is for chat GPT? Even when you're just getting started, the number one thing I hear from people when they want to do arbitrage is I don't know how to talk to a landlord. I don't know what to say to them. Well, chat GPT just listed it out for you right here. You can do so many things with this, right? And so the last one I wanna do, cause I'm actually about to do this myself, is I am going to write a listing description because I already have a property. So let's say I want to write a listing description for short-term rental to travel medical professionals. Describes my property and lists great features that a again you can be as specific as you want so let's see what we get if we say write a listing description for a short-term rental to travel medical professionals that describes my property and lists great features that a travel nurse would want during their stay this is amazing welcome to your home away from home 
This beautiful, whatever it is, it's telling you how to fill it in, is located in the heart of, let's say it's here in Richmond, Richmond, Virginia. And it's perfect for travel medical professionals um, looking for their place to stay. It tells you everything you need to know about this place. And if your place doesn't fit this listing, then change it up. If you need to stick to a certain number of words, tell JetGBT how many words you need to stick to. This is a game changer. And I hope that everybody can see like the value here of using artificial intelligence to help you to cut down your learning curve, to cut down the work that you have to do. Like the time that you save from this, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I've already saved a ton of time. Let me just put it that way. At this point, it's writing my listing descriptions. It's writing my business plan with, you know, tweaks here and there. Um, it's writing scripts. It's writing role plays. There's so many different things that I can use for AI in my midterm rental business at this point. It's helping me to write, um, gosh, what else am I working on? Flyers, descriptions for flyers, business cards. I even use this to help write some language on a business card. Um, this is endless. It is endless. So if you have not signed up, I'm not telling you what to do and I'm not pushing one or another. I just happen to know how to use ChatGBT for the most part. Again, I'm no expert, uh, but you know I can basically follow instructions and learn as I go. This is a very, very powerful tool. If you're not using it, I mean, I don't, I don't know. What, what are we doing? What are we doing? Go use it. Save yourself time. Improve your listings. Get on the phones. All these people. It's going to change everything for you. Or at least it is for me. It's saving me a ton of time. So hopefully that was helpful. And until next time, please like, subscribe to this video. Leave some comments for me in the chat on what you'd like me to talk about. And coming up in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to have some more special guests on. I have one that I'm really excited about lined up coming up probably in about a week or so. So you'll start seeing some flyers drop about those. But otherwise, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Bye-bye.